Jackie. Okay, so I have um, a little bit of a haul to share with you, <laughs> like always. Um, this is actually, I have some stuff that I ordered from Stila, and I went to Ulta, and I've got some Mary Kay stuff as well. So I'm going to start with the Ulta stuff, because right now, um, Ulta is having a promotion that if you buy $19.50 worth of Ulta products, um, Ulta brand products, then you will get, um, like this grab bag of Ulta makeup products for free. And it's essentially like an $88 value that you end up getting. So you're getting like a hundred dollars worth of products for spending under 20. So I'm going to show you what I got and then what's in the bag. Okay. So the first thing that I got was this Ulta extreme wear cheek stain, and this is in the shade, um, desire okay now it looks like that and it looks kind of scary but it's actually pretty sheer when you put it on um and to be honest with you i haven't really used this product or the next product that i'm going to show you just because um well i haven't gotten a chance to yet um i also picked up this is their uh color coat cream eyeshadow and this is in the shade amethyst which i thought was just such you know, a pretty, I mean, it kind of matches, um, the cheek stain a little bit. Um, this has got a really beautiful finish. Now, again, I haven't worn this actually on my eyes, so I'm not sure in terms of like staying power or whether it's going to crease or not. Um, but I really loved the shade. It comes off a little more, um, purple than it looks in the jar. Um, it's a really, really creamy formula. So, um, I'll get back to you. Uh, this actually I used in my perfect nude lip tag and I'll link that below. Um, this is the Ulta, um, lipstick. It's in shade number 225. It's called in the buff. Um, and this to me is like the perfect nude lip without making me look like dead kind of. And that's what that shade looks like. It's just like a beautiful kind of your lips but better mauve neutral type of color. And I love it. So those are the three products that I bought. And this is what I got. And I'm not going to swatch everything in here because then I'll be here forever. Okay. So first they give you, um, this is called a lip butter and these like butter products are like everywhere. I think they're just trying to make you hungry. Um, I'll just go ahead and rip this open like a raccoon. Um, this is a super shiny lip butter and this is in the shade, um, Vienna. So that's what that looks like. Um, a nice neutral shade. Um, it comes out a little bit peachier than that in the buff color. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch these. I'm not going to swatch everything, but I'm going to swatch some things. Um, so that's the first thing that you got in the bag. Oh, and this is what the bag looks like. You get your choice of either pink or this like turquoise blue. Um, so the second lip product that came in here is a super shiny lip gloss. And this is in the shade illusion. And it's got a little doe foot applicator like that. It's just a pretty pale pink. I mean, I just think it's so nice that they put, you know, just some universally flattering shades in here that pretty much everybody could wear. You know, this would pair really well with the lipstick that they have in there. And I'm pretty sure that's the point. Um, you also get, there's a couple of makeup brushes that come in with the kit as well. Um, you're getting like a long handled, um, sponge tip applicator, which I use sponge tip applicators all the time. Don't discount them. Um, then you're getting this little eyeshadow brush right here, which I don't know what I'm going to think of it. It's like a pretty much a synthetic bristled brush. Um, I haven't used any of this stuff yet. And then you're also getting a contour brush, which is a little bit angled like that. And that's what that looks like. And these brushes feel like 100% synthetic brushes. Um, I'm not sure entirely what I'm going to think of these yet. Um, okay, so it also comes with a primer. This is um, a flawless prime. This is a controls redness and it's paraben free. So 
It's a little, you know, sample size of that. You're also getting in here a blush. This is in the shade uh, Sweet Cheeks, and it's just a really pretty, you know, rosy pink blush. Um, you're also getting, and I think this is so awesome, I mean, especially for like travel or something, you're getting a dual-ended eyeliner, and one on one end is brown, and on the other end is black. So, uh, I love that to death. Um, you're also getting a Voluptuous Volume Volumizing Mascara, and all this stuff is Ulta brand, obviously. Um, what else comes in here? They give you a little baby lip, or not lip gloss, hello. Don't put this on your lips, it's nail polish. Um, this is in the color Fuchsia Mania. Um, and I'm really not super familiar with all of Ulta's products, but um, I'm really excited to try. Okay, and then you get three eyeshadow quads, all right? Now this is, okay, now first of all, I dropped this like as soon as I got it home, and that's why it looks like this. Um, this is the eyeshadow quad in Chic. So you're getting kind of some bright tropical colors in that one. Um, this one is called Classic, which is more of that, you know, neutral, you know, jumping on the neutral bandwagon that everybody lives on right now. And then this is the um, dramatic one and uh, that deep maroon shade is really like drawing my eye in. Okay, so that's what was in the bag. That's my Ulta stuff. All right, now I got some stuff from Stila. Okay, and when I say some stuff, I mean two um, foil finish eyeshadows. Um, I've done a couple tutorials on this. I've done actually with the two colors that I own already. Um, I've done a tutorial for each of those and I wanted to get more shades. So I got the shade um, Metallic Golden Pink. All right, and this is what that one looks like. It's pink and it has a gold, you know, a gold shimmer in it, which I thought was gonna be gorgeous. And then I also got um, this metallic Merlot. And I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look. I've already looked at this and it didn't look as metallic to me as maybe it should. I don't know if this is like old or something because it looks like it's pulling away from the package a little bit. I'm gonna have to go into my Ulta and compare it to like the floor model if they have one there. But this is the um, Mertal Mertalic. Metallic Merlot. And do you see how that's like not very, Metallic? Is that just me? I don't know. I've got to check this one out to see if I just got like a weird product. I haven't used it yet, so who knows? It might come out different. And when you buy these, they also come with like a little um, round tin to mix it in because it comes with a um, a little like liquid primer. So you actually make this into a liquid product and then apply it to your eyes like that. Okay. So I also got, I have one of my girlfriends that I've known like forever and she sells Mary Kay products and I have really never tried a lot of Mary Kay stuff so I kind of wanted to, you know, see what the deal was. Um, so I ordered a couple things from her and then she sent me a couple of samples of stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. With the Stila thing, they also gave me um, a little sample of their new Color Balm lipsticks. I got Vivian, Allie, and Natasha. Those are those three uh, little sample shades, so I'm going to be testing those out. Okay, back to Mary Kay. Um, so I went ahead and I got the TimeWise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. Um, I picked it up in the shade Beige 4, which ended up being a little too light for me, so I'm going to send this back to her and she's going to exchange it for a darker shade for me. Um, but I did wear this and, you know, it was light, but... I loved the finish of it. I thought it applied really well. Um, you know, no complaints there except for the shade, and that's not, you know, Mary Kay's fault. So, um, I also got this lipstick that I'm wearing today, and I do have a clear gloss over it, but this is the um, Creamy Lip Color, and this is in the shade Retro Rose, and it's one of those, like, thinner, you know, lipsticks. Um, it smells like sugar. It smells so good. It doesn't necessarily claim to be long wearing, 
but I find that this does wear a really long time. And another thing, this is like the only lipstick that I've ever worn that hasn't feathered on me. So I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that. Um, I also picked up, they have, they just released their spring line, so I wanted to try like, you know, something from their new little line. And I went ahead and ordered um, the gel eyeliner. It's supposed to be like a waterproof um, gel liner. I ordered it in just, you know, black because, you know, hello. Um, so I haven't used this. Ooh, I haven't used this yet. Um, this is what it looks like. It comes in a little pot, just like most gel eyeliners. And it looks like they give you a little brush too on like a little baby brush like that um so that i am excited to try i will let you know how that goes and then she also sent me um i meant to order satin lips too and i totally forgot and then when i told her she's like oh well i was gonna suggest that but i didn't want you to think that i was like making you buy stuff i'm like girl i wish you would have said something because i just forgot but she sent me a sample of satin hands, which I actually put on my lips because my lips were like so dehydrated that I felt like I needed, you know, something on my lips. And actually this worked really well on my lips. Don't lick it because it tastes like total garbage. You know, it's not meant for your mouth, so I wouldn't put it in. And then she also sent me a little um, sample of the Time Wise Firming Eye Cream which I am excited to try. Um, so I told her, because she's a relatively new rep, she's been doing this for a few months, and I told her that I would go ahead and host a party for her. So we are gonna do like a little online Mary Kay party. So if there is anything that you wanna order, um, I will go ahead and put the link to the little party that we're doing below. Um, I am, you know, so far with what, you know, just a few things that I've tried, I've really been impressed. Um, the price point really isn't bad. I mean, I normally at the drugstore will pay between, you know, $9 and $15 for a foundation. And this TimeWise foundation was only 14 bucks. So I thought that was a really good price. And the lipstick was... I hate people that I, ha I just got a new phone number and I apologize for that um, and yes my ringtone is Space Oddity by um, David Bowie but I got a new phone number and now I'm getting like everybody's debt collection that had this number before me and that drives me nuts um, so and this lipstick was like 16 bucks I don't remember how much the gel liner was but I'm gonna go ahead and I will link below to the little Mary Kay party that we're having if you want to pick up anything you can go ahead and order um, and I hope you guys